This is the dresser that I'll be restoring using Rust-Oleum's Furniture Transformations Furniture Coating System. And the color is called Modern Gray. There it is. I thought a refresh would be great instead of replacing it. So um, one of the drawers got messed up, so um, we replaced it with these pieces of wood and just slid that into place where a drawer would normally be. So here's the side, one side, and here's the other side. Step one is a deglosser. So now that the deglosser has been applied, we just wait one hour and then come back for the base coat. Step two is the bond coat. This is it after the second coat, and it needs another two or three hours to dry. Step three is the decorative glaze. See those dark spots is actually rubbing right off through the paint. And I prefer the plain color like this. So what I'm gonna do is just paint back over it and then I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna do the protective coat. Step four is the protective top coat. So I'm just gonna mix it and then apply it in the same direction as the wood grain, just like we did with the bond coat. And it says to not over brush it. I'm just gonna lightly put that on. And whatever room you're in, you're supposed to do this with the windows closed and no fans on. I'm just gonna do the top, these little beams in the front and then the sides. Side. When I put the drawers back in, some of the black still shows and you can also see the little edging of the gray with the drawers in place. Now I considered painting the inside with the gray so everything can match, but this dresser also has a glass piece that sits on top here. And that glass piece is tinted black. So now um, instead of painting the inside gray, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Rust-Oleum black flat paint that I just had left over. I'm gonna go and paint over all of this gray. I'm gonna be replacing the knobs that were originally on the drawer. I went and got these at Home Depot. So this is the original knob. It's just a flat piece that sat right here. Now, it was hard to find something to replace it with. These holes are not the universal um, distance apart. Majority of the knobs at Home Depot are about this distance apart. The two new holes are gonna be on the outside of this. So I'm gonna drill new holes on the outside of, the, of here. So we'll have one new hole here and one new one there. And then this will sit nicely right inside that. Leave 
needed new dresser with the new handles. 